permission to dive over depth of 105 feet. as we descend, starting with the warm colors in our uh, color spectrum. Those are all low frequency wavelengths of electromagnetic energy. Okay. Here we go, starboard side, south reef. Look at all these fish out here. We've got a big school of tape. They're Tahitian natives here in the uh, 1950s, released on uh, Oahu and Kaunyohe Bay. They're now found throughout the Hawaiian Islands. <laughs> Tahitians love to eat that fish, so you let them go out here. They can, uh, you know, it'll get a little boost to the fishing economy, but it uh, didn't really didn't really work out that way. Here on the reef, there's algae, there's crustaceans, there's fish eggs, all sorts of things. These fish like little sponges. Hawaiian bacillus damselfish, they're endemic to Hawaii, from nowhere else on the planet. So there's a lot of things that evolve here that cannot swim across the ocean. So you can notice the world. So there's a giant porcupine fish down below there, and then he's got this odd looking one. Why is this omilu? There's also some sleek unicorn fish, these black almond shaped ones. Got your ports. Starboard side. Oh, check it out. <laughs> Look at this little patch reef we found. We got some uh, bunch of damselfish. There's some unicorn fish. See that pale colored one with a the little. There's two of them with the long unicorn horn coming off there. Uh, looks like we're coming up on our second shipwreck here. All right, looks like starboard side is going to see the shipwreck first. Shipwreck is, uh, this one's called The Lady. This one sank in 1986 due to a fire on board. Now how that fire started, not many people really know. Oh, there's a shark in the shipwreck. What? Oh, oh, oh there's a shark. There's a big shark in there. Oh, he is. Oh. That is here. Oh. I, tell you, I tell you, we don't see that every day. No, I, I, I usually have this feel when people ask about sharks. Keeping sucking water, pulling that water through its body over its gills. 
For it's a nocturnal species, so it's going to be resting through the day and feeding in the evening. The Carthaginian alone is a great reason for why these sharks are able to be found here. For they have species around them they are able to feed on. It also gives them protection too. Here's an amazing view of that white tip reef shark. You can notice the little white tips on their dorsal fin. That's what's giving them their name. So sharks are notorious for being solo out at sea. You never really see sharks running around in big packs. They don't really require that safety in numbers kind of deal. These sharks, they kind of do their own deal by themselves, day in, day out. Seems like kind of a lonely time, but lone rangers of the sea, they do have to rest too. Oh my God. Big fish. The male bulletin today. We are all at the bottom of the ocean of submarine. It's pretty neat. We'll give that a couple minutes to sink in. Oh my gosh. Look at those two long slender fish out there. Long and skinny. It is a trumpet fish. So it walks like a turkey like the fins. That is a giant porcupine fish. The cute little guy with the big black eye. Better off eating cyanide than puffer fish. One fish could kill 30 people in a sand every single day. It's a so there you want them. You want them to want to be on their good side. Who wants to see a shipwreck? Yeah. Just laying there in the sand, so we'll we'll be able to turn around. We'll show them the port side too. Oh, look at that folks. Right, the white tip reef sharks. Anybody here afraid of sharks? No, you don't need to fear the white tip reef shark guys. They are not man eaters. Why? They're not. Uh, aggressive towards the We started leaking, and so in turn started sinking. Atlantis uh, submarine company stepped in and bought the ship for one dollar. You get a really good deal on a sinking ship. Down here in 2005 to create this marvelous underwater habitat we're looking at today. Ships make very good artificial reefs. Yep, there's a ship out here on purpose. Algae. I'm going to run over the top of the ship here, folks. Uh, down into the cargo hold. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Sleek unicorn fish. Some uh, yellow ones fluttering around out there. Those are really see butterfly fish. Port side, you can see the bow starboard. You can see the stern. Big school of yellowfin go fish, and there's those file fish. Really cool looking. Big gray one with the broom-like tail. Notice those lines in the water, folks. Those are current indicating lines. Those two are there's a little bit of surge in the water.